The only thing going through my mind is... Pregnancy simulation. The instructions are in Russian. Might have a little think about how we can make it tasty or interesting. A three-way terrible idea. But it's also the best idea. Which is okay, because I've always loved gnomes. Good morning, my little dauphinoise potato. Very cheesy. Uh, alright. <clears throat> Couple of things. One, might do a shaving video today, because I need to shave. Might have a little think about how we can make it tasty or interesting. Also want to test that TikTok goes, I find, that TikTok goes through these ups and downs and gets into these real ruts. And I think the idea of being shadow banned, I don't know if that exists. I don't believe in that. However, I do believe in the... the... the thing that TikTok makes its own algorithm updates. That is not very nice how shaky this is, is it? We're on the new setup. Let me see if I can change the... Hang on. Okay. I turned on the stabilization a bit more. See if it doesn't bounce as much. Um, yeah, so if TikTok make algorithm updates, then that's why I think videos do well and bad. Like, how can you have... The, an average video do over a million views, and then the next one does 10K, 12K, with 500 plus thousand followers. Same style, in a same series, so you would say that if people enjoyed the first video in the series, which is at like one point something million views, then people are gonna serve, be served the second video, and it should do just as well, right? Same format. A lot of it's the same. Obviously, there are nuances, but yeah. So I think we're in one of those ruts. So I'd like to test if this works, and then uh, I don't know if he wants me to say his actual name, but Beard of the South on TikTok. He's been following me for a long. <laughs> this sounds weird now, doesn't it? He's been following me for a long time, and I mentioned him in a, a video. I don't know how long back. But he's been awesome, like he... So, so I used to sell, I made a pouch that sits on the back of your computer, I'll show it when we get home, that your SSD fits into so that it's not dangling. I made that, tons of people started copying it. Anyway, whenever he has seen a video of someone, you know, talking about an issue or something to do with an SSD or something where this product would be extremely useful, he's always commented, like referenced my product and added me for this person to go and let's say purchase one and that's something that i've always i've really appreciated because it's not something he's had to do he has decided i'm going to take my time to comment and let someone know about oliver's product which is amazing okay that aside he very kindly purchased some of my merch the other day and also left a i have this like We'll call it a tip, a donation section, and it's like that money is a bucket that would go towards side quests, so like the TikTok videos. And I started thinking, how do I attribute that bucket if it's not going to pay for a full TikTok? What if I attribute it to props that go into the video so that like in this video here, let's say I'm planning out a video and I think of a certain prop that would go in that, if noticed, would be quite clever. What if this bucket of, like, the, the donation to the side quest goes toward, you know, one of those props? And then, if you have donated, you can see in a video and be like, I made that happen. Like, that, Oliver was able to do that on a budget format because I helped him get there. I feel like that would be really cool. So in the next video we plan, if I do the shaving video today, I'm not sure it'll be today because, unless I come back to the store and get something. This thing's just not working, is it? This is absolute trash. Let me hold you for a second. And I, I think that would be, I really like that idea. Also, the, the idea in my mind that someone like Beard of the South 
appreciates me and what I do enough to share some of their hard-earned money with me is, is it's so humbling. It's such a good, it gives me such a good feeling to know that I have provided someone with enough entertainment and we'll call it value <laughs> that they've decided to do something on their end as like a, a thank you. That's, that's so nice, isn't it? Lots of other topics to go through today, and I've decided I'm going to stop driving straight to home in the morning because I probably shouldn't be showing, doxing myself. So I'm going to stop somewhere else in the morning. Not for long, but just drive somewhere else and turn off the camera and then I'll drive home. I think that's probably safe. All right, I'll see you at home. Also, let me show you this setup. So it's... I just stopped the video, but here we go again. All right, so it's a headrest thing, but it's pretty rubbish. And this ball joint that comes off here is meant to sit on a tablet holder. And so I've got whatever this is from my from something else I had. But you can see it's just like, it's too flimsy, doesn't work. I love the idea of this, that you can watch from this angle, but this one just doesn't work. It's just, it's far too flimsy. So. I might have to go for a, a much heavier duty option. Unfortunately, so I'm gonna to have to pay a bit more for it. Probably three times the price, which is a bit rubbish. All right, see you at home. That's silly, that's silly, that's so silly. Because genius man over here, let me just, the stupidity that goes on, that goes on in my mind, I sometimes wonder, so this whole time I've been thinking it needs to come off the head headrest because that's the perfect position. Not, and I and I I I guess I thought that because I thought that's where the head would be. That's where someone's head would be. Let me let me explain my thinking. If I didn't in that video, if you're if you're the driving clip right. <clears throat> Previously, I filmed it like at the bottom angle looking from like the gear stick up and I thought that's, you know, decent. But if you put it to the side where someone's head would be, it kind of feels like you're in the next seat. So that's why I got the idea that it has to be coming from the headrest. But what if I don't need to buy anything else? I use this heavy duty ass suction cup mount, stick this bad boy to the window and then uh, yeet. We have that. That just sticks off the window and it's basically in the same place as someone's head would be. And that's way more sturdy. I like that idea and I don't have to spend more money. I like that way more. So that's why this was by the door because it's going straight in the car the next time I leave. <laughs> um, I also, when I go to Walmart, I always try really hard not to get like candy or chocolate or crisps or something i just crave that stuff all the time it takes a lot in me to not get that stuff but this time i folded these are absolute flamey i normally use flamey in two ways one is to describe like a a very camp thing like a something a very gay very very gay person would do i use that for flamey and then i also use flamey for something that tastes good these taste very good they're not my normal my normal are the berry Myconikes. Oh. <clears throat> Which kind of got me thinking that something I've wanted for a long time, it, which is just so, just so stupid. It's, it, it, there's nothing good out of it. It's just something I think would be nice to have, okay? <clears throat> like a gumball machine that has three different slots to it, or a couple of different slots. One of them is filled with my Canucks, the other one's Skittles, the other one, something of my choice. And I have that accessible any time of the day. That's a terrible idea, terrible idea. But it's also the best idea I've had in a long time. Let's switch here. I've started looking at beanies as well. Like I like wearing, I like wearing these types of beanies. 
you know, my dad says I look like a gnome, which is okay because I've always loved gnomes. Sit there. I like wearing these hats. Now, you're probably wondering, like, I've noticed these have gotten pretty popular in the like, Canadian hockey world, the, the bird chirping things, those guys. But I got this from ski seasons, like when I used to work in the, when I used to work in the French Alps. It sounds glorious, it was not glorious. It was a, it was a very fun time, but I was also sleeping on the floor. I have some disgraceful stories. Maybe one day we can get into those. Maybe when like it's maybe when you're fasting so you don't have any food in your stomach because part of that story is horrific. So yeah, I was gonna get some of these made with the the odd daisy logo. So it'll be with the sock look. Sorry. With the sock logo. Yeah? just like here or maybe off to the side because I have it on here I'm not this I'm not trying to sell it to you at the moment just kind of thinking out loud so I found a different a couple of different suppliers sent the information over this morning and hopefully get a couple of samples made and then see what we think especially as winter's coming up so maybe get some made that would be Pretty sweet, I like wearing hats a lot. All right, well, you know what I think we should do? I've just, I've just remembered. I've got this on. It's 20 past one in the afternoon. I've been playing with Rugi all day. Uh, the missus had to go out to get another ultrasound, but like, trust me when I say this, I think couples should be doing all of those things together. Like, it's a pretty common place that in a marriage, the woman should do the kid stuff, like the pregnancy stuff, the kid stuff. She should take care of all of that. And don't get me wrong, like for the most part in our relationship, my wife and I's relationship, she takes care of a lot of that. Like she takes care of the you know healthy eating, um, finding exercises for her to do, finding, because we're going to do a full at-home birth. My wife is a absolute tank. She did the last birth. No epi epidemic, no epidural, none of that, just all her mentally. Unreal. Just crazy respect for women that can do that. Even women that, you know, do it with an epidural, the things you have to go through for the full nine months, I don't think men on a whole give enough credit. Anyway, going back to the point. Normally I would go to all the midwife appointments and um, like today's appointment, another scan. What are they called? Deleted all my notifications. Um, forget what it's called, but Ruger is just too mental. Like the last one we went to, I wasn't in the room for more than five minutes before I had to leave with Ruger because he just wanted to go and be nuts. And so there's no point in sitting in a car for 45 minutes going up there. And so I guess one of the points in that is when you have kids, you constantly have to choose what's best for the both of you and what's best for the kid. It's not like your decision making, nothing will prepare you for how much your decision making process has to change. Like I would like to go and I would prefer to, but it makes far more sense for me just not to go and then I can play with Ruger at home here and look after him properly. And then he is in a less stressful situation that that sounds kind of like a um, what's the bubble wrap like a bubble wrap parent that's not that's not the situation we're not bubble wrap parents I'm the type that 
if he falls over and hits his head enough that he's not you know going to be really hurt i'm the t we're the type that will laugh so that he doesn't you know scream and lose his mind so that he like learns to deal with those things i think god it's turned into a flipping parenting lesson let me i'll finish on this point if he falls over and hits its head it's like laughing about it and then it's with like validating that he has certain feelings with it which is oh that must have hurt but like well done for being brave that's something i didn't think i always just thought oh you laugh it off and then it's good but actually I think validating the feelings is super important. All right, well, let's, let's go through, I have so many things that I bought from like Timu and the Walmart clearance section that we should be able to make into videos. I also have I've had this thought. I would really like to test this. You may have heard me talking about it. This, the new, what I think is the new wave of influencer marketing, we'll call it. Which is instead of one to two post partnerships or 10 post partnerships, or even let's do 10 post partnerships and here's your stack of money, right? I think like a monthly stipend is the way forward. No, I was, I was thinking about it again this morning that if a monthly stipend by the brand is the way forward, that doesn't mean, like if I were to do it, I need to see how brands feel on this idea of things, but I really want to push for going this direction, but it's not exclusive. So like, let's say, for example, let's say, well, one that I'm hoping will work out soon. Let's say Panasonic. We have something where they say, cool, here's our camera range. Because I've proposed this idea to them that I use their camera range in all my videos. It doesn't need me to, to you know, every video be like, you should buy this camera. It's not what it is. It's more like, I they're helping support my creative process by taking care of the gear that I use and the monetary needs that I have for living, right? So like, let's say that was a partnership. I would still have the ability to try out new camera gear. I could, I could try out a Sony camera. I could try out a DJI camera. Um, and if I, if I think it works better and it fits my needs better, then I would like the ability to use that because it suits my life better. And it's up to the company then to decide if they try and make that product or not. This doesn't mean that I'm so important they should make that product, but it means that the partnership has to be 100%, what's the word I'm looking for, authentic. So like if we do a partnership on some of their men's care products, then, and I see that actually Philips have a product that works way better for what I need, I should be able to go and try that and use that. Now, there has to be that, uh, the partnership in there of, that doesn't mean that I will then talk consistently about that Philips product, neither would I consistently talk about the Panasonic product, but it would be that I still get to, I still live my life. It's fully authentic. It's just that Panasonic in this case are providing uh, a means to do that. Like you've probably seen the recent thing with Peloton and Theo Vaughn, where they said, take this episode down because we don't like who you had on the podcast. And if that were to happen to me, I'd say, all right, we're finishing our contract. That's it. Like you don't get to, like we should have figured this out at the beginning of the contract that you don't have a say over these things that I do say or don't do, but it's equally up to you. If I say something you don't like and you want to detach yourselves, sure. Contract ended. That's, that should be fine. I would really like to experiment with this. And, and the whole thing, 
bring it around. The whole thing I'm trying to get to on it is, should I create a pitch deck that highlights where I think this like vlog journey is gonna take me and why I'm doing it, and then the type of partners that we could include. Like another one I'm thinking about today is, um, I have the automations that take the clips that I cut out from this video, and then um, I add captions over the top, and I put them into a drive, Google Drive folder, and then I have an automation that takes those files and automatically post them to each of my like fan accounts. But currently, like there are lots of AI systems out there, programs, apps out there that could take my full 60 minute whatever YouTube video and cut those all into the specific clips based on the AI behind it, so whatever that is, and then deposit those into a Google Drive folder. Why like this, that, I feel like that would be a great opportunity. If the product is good, that would be a great opportunity for me to have that company as a partner. And then whenever I reference like the progress of this clips automation system, the name is dropped in there, right? So like, you know what system I use. And I do plan on creating like a, I don't know if it's a mini course, but like a small ebook on how to make this whole process work. Right, like how to build your own Zapier connection to do all this posting on you know, where you don't have to think about it twice. Where you don't have to second think, second guess it. You don't have to have a second think about it. What the f Either way, if I were to give you an update on how that whole socials automation going, automation is going. The clips are all posting. I think they're posting six, six times a day, maybe a little bit more. So I think it's at 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 p.m. So it starts at 8 a.m. and goes every two hours until midnight. But there's no real traction. All of the clips are stopping at 250 views around that on TikTok. On Instagram, some of them are doing quite well, actually. But YouTube is where they're getting the most amount of views. Like a couple of them have hit a couple of thousand. Like so if I look at the clips channel on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's very hit or miss. What's the top views here? Content. I'll show you my... I guess I could share my screen. <clears throat> nope. So yeah, like four hours ago, no views, 14, 35, 22, 0, 37, 800, 1.4K, right? Very hit or miss. Go to one of the other channels, clips, and then go to daily. Content, shorts, 2, 9, 11, 13, 12. I don't think any, you're 340, but the rest of it, zero. Which makes me think, makes me think that the content that I'm putting out is too slow for people on short form compared to what people are used to. I think it. I think my next iteration of what I'm gonna to do to see what works is to take out all the gaps. Like the gaps that are in this video, I think, I, you know, I, I think that's just part of, that's just part of the vlog, right? Because that's how, very selfishly, the vlog is all about me And if it's if it's the if the goal of the video for you to watch is for it to be as real as authentic as possible, taking out the pauses disrupts all of that. But I think those pauses need to be taken out for the next iteration. So 
Having an AI formatter, an AI editor do that? Could be the one. So then it's, yeah, it's a case of me looking at all the potential partners I could have and seeing if they'd be interested in doing this. It's almost like a social experiment. All right, let's go through the things that we have in these drawers. Let me, you can just, you, you, how do you want to go? Do you want to go like this? I'll put you on a tripod, one sec. All right, can't be creasing my shrocky roonies. Oh, here we go. Berry Blast, look at that. Wasn't lying to you. I've kept that box as a prop for videos. Um, all right, we've got the, the TENS unit. That was for me to test pregnancy simulation. Wasn't that good. Washable pens. This is, I filmed everything for this. I've just, I just haven't edited it. But this was a video of, like I saw a couple of ads on TikTok for these Sharpie pens. And my thought was, I do a, I, I basically try and, make an ad for them I'm trying to get on their radar you know I should probably just edit that it's all done it was actually it was a pretty cool storyline and I filmed parts on like one of my last times of going into the office that I used to work at all right it's mine papa I'll be back in a minute all right sorry about that oh yeah and then this, this is the, the stuff that I was writing in the, the pen video I just mentioned. I love feet pics. I love all sorts of feet pics. If I wanted to, I'd find a way to include more feet pics in the world so everyone could enjoy feet pics. But as things stand, not everyone enjoys feet pics. I really think that if I wanted to move forward, we would find out blah, blah, blah. Like that, I, that's where I stopped. Stupid. Uh, bold cap. I think I semi planned out being Andrew Tate for 24 hours, like his daily routine. Didn't go anywhere. Explosive chewing gum. It's the, on the blast factor, it's a 10. I'm not going to do that again now. Sunscreen detection patch. I think I was meant to do that in the summer. Never got round to that. Disposable gloves for doing the hand in lotion for 24 hours. I should get back on that one. A dinosaur coloring book. I don't know. Maybe that is something. Oh yeah. I actually had the idea that because I like, I like taking photos. I just haven't done it in a long time. And I, I had this idea a long time ago when I was back making photo and video videos, photo and video content, that I would turn my photos into a coloring book, like a paint by numbers book. And my way to ramp up to that, like to producing that and selling it would be that I like, every like once a week or something we just talk through some topics while I color that was that was my thinking I've got another tens unit I don't know why I have two of those uh, smelling salts extremely potent by wake the dead There's no smell on those. It was terrible when I first got them, but I think I filmed like the majority of the video. I think I should buy those again and do the finish, like finish off that video. Sour Patch Kids. Chewing gum. 
Like that's a video I could very easily do in like a couple of hours to follow on from the previous. Like, should we just do that one tomorrow quickly? Glue stick. I've got a sweat and fat burning stick and um, fat burning cream. This removes fat, renews skin, firms you can see an eight pack in three days. I'm just going to read this as it's written. Firms fat, renews skin, firms you can see eight pack in eight, three days. Long lasting and effective without bounce. Okay. Oh, I need to look for a sauna today. Siri. Pod vlog note. Siri, pod vlog note. What's the test? Find real sauna close to me. Okay, that's dried up. So I bought these. I think these are these are meant to be some kind of dinosaur eggs. I could start those, shouldn't I? That liquid IV video I did a while back, I really, I, I mentioned it a couple of days ago. I really wanted them to see that to create some kind of partnership. They weren't interested. I think I had the concept a while back of how long, how many mouth swipes can a chapstick last for? Like I think the the one of the things I think about when I think of that video is playing into the idea that no one ever finishes a chapstick. You always lose it before you finish. And that is something that would be super relatable for people to share the video if they got to that point. Instant Manny. I don't know I don't know why I would have bought that. Those I used in a video. I think I used those in the hydration video. I've got a sauna, a sweatsuit here, which I actually filmed a video in the summer. I filmed running one mile in a hundred degree centigrade in a sauna suit. <clears throat> so I think that would be a good video to finish editing when I finish this sauna series. So I should work on that, shouldn't I? Uh, tattoo numbing cream. Oh yeah. How long does a lighter last for? Was the video idea? Fart spray, which I bought for. I was going to make this video of trying out different like viral travel products on a plane. Yeah, viral travel products on a plane. And one of the things I bought were flatulence pads because like the joke is that everyone farts on a plane. And I thought that I would test the flatulent pads to see how good they worked, how well they worked by spraying fart spray on it. Not on the plane, that would have been before or after. <coughs> I've been sick for like a week now. Chewing gum, that's not part of a video anymore, is it? So trash, 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 trash. That can go away. That can go in the trash. I don't know. I don't need to explain. I think I just throw that away. Don't need that anymore. So I think these are upside down glasses or inverted glasses. Yes. So I did 24 hours living with glasses that you, you're only looking down. 
but these are glasses where you're only looking these are glasses where you're only looking up so like from here i can see this the dimensions all off and then everything's at an angle oh weird yeah i didn't think about that not really sure how to make that into a video other than just like funny experience so maybe we'll keep those Heightened insoles. Thought interesting to see what it's like being six foot, but I never got around to that. This was a that can be go in the bin. It's meant to go around your lens. Like camera lens? Useless. A hat umbrella. Umbrella hat. <clears throat> mini Skittles. I actually um applied for a mini sk little Skittles campaign on TikTok with directly with the brand through this thing they have called the creator marketplace and they never responded and their campaign i think was actually to go live today or yesterday so that was annoying like i just i wish i wish brands would see like, in my opinion this video is no different to some of the chewing gum videos that have done millions of views plus. And like I included those in my pitch, but nope, not interested. Caffeine gum, I guess that would be a, honestly, because they passed on me, I'm not gonna make a video with those, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know, do you remember? Those bloonies? Let's do those after this. Whoops. This punching head ball, I wanna to get to 100, but I'm not ready for that video yet. I don't know why I have more chewing gum of a different flavor. Oh, this. This video, so this is Warhead's Blue Raspberry Sour Spray. Now this, I thought, I thought was so clever, but was just a little bit over the line. Um, this video was for the magnet fishing video where I got into a place that was a dangerous area and I tried to play into the idea that people can smell fear on you. And so to mask my fear, I used this Blue Raspberry Spray because spray, it was the only thing I had on me. Now, when I went to go and buy this, they had a couple of different flavors. One of them, which was, one of them was grape. Now, I've seen this on TikTok of like, it's mostly videos where it's all black people committing some kind of crime. And the comments are like, watermelon people, uh, grape Americans, sorry, watermelon, Ameri watermelon Americans, grape Americans, and then like stereotypical black things in front of Americans and I initially like there's part of me that thought if people got it it would be funny but like obviously I didn't mean it in a racist way uh, but I just thought that was that was too far and just might cross the line so I went with blue raspberry which I love toxic waste I think the video was can I, something along the lines of how do you get rid of toxic waste? And the joke being that when someone comes to collect it or I take this somewhere, this is it. It's just that. <laughs> why do I have hundreds of, why do I have all these straws? Yeah, why do I have 100 straws? No idea. So those can go upstairs. I've got lightsaber chopsticks. I don't know why I would have those.
Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, don't know why I have that. I think I bought it as a laser pointer, and it just had this other crap on the top. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know what I would do with that. Liquid chalk. That's kind of, this is kind of cool stuff actually. Uh, screw it, let me put this all back and I'll show you how it works. Then I've got two bars of soap. I think the video idea for that was how how many rubs does it take to get rid of a bar of soap? Stupid. Stupid idea. And then other thing, this thing is meant to go there as a get rid of headaches. That's stupid. I'm, not, I'm never going to use that, am I? All right, let's put everything away. You know, I'll do that off camera, but I think we'll go through the other stuff I have in the wardrobe another day, maybe. You know what? Let's just do it now because we're in the middle of it. And the whole point was for me to find ideas that I could get working on. Let me just stop. Uh, UV flashlight. This was for yopper hunting. And yoppers are like um, rocks that under UV light like sparkle, but they only can be found in, can, they can only be found around the Great Lakes, like Michigan and Illinois. So maybe another time. Oh, I should have done this. One of my friends' companies uh, out in Australia, this is NMN, which is meant to be really good for anti-aging. AgeMate is the brand. I'm trying to work out if I showed you my address on the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that out because I need to message him back. Um, trash. This thing, oh my gosh. Fat freezer. I should just go and finish this video. So this is like a, so one side of this gets super cold and you tie it around your waist, but you put it on like the fat sections, like she is. And it's meant to get rid of your fat. Like I knew it was gonna be shit. I knew it was gonna be a crappy product, but I thought, it would be funny for a video. It was just so bad. It was so bad and it actually burned me. I've got the footage. Um, Siri. Uh -huh. Pod vlog note. What's the test? Fat freezer burn. Cool, I'll show you the clip in a bit. I think. Yankees. What? Cancel. Um, a massive enter button. I don't know what I would do with that. Oh, I guess I'll just keep on to that. All right, these I need to get set up around the house. I. I had this, well, my wife and I had this idea, like, we'd love to capture the things in our house that, unless you're filming it, it's like, you'll never capture. But if we have those running, like, at different angles around the house, then we could, you know, we'd, we'd have it recorded. All right, axe, toss, a shaky sketch pen, an ultimate color fill sand kit. Oh, yeah. Like, this is like the terrarium thing. Uh, 
Like these are things that I want I want to just do. I've got a science kit. A galaxy glow bonanza. I don't know why I would have bought that. A knife set that I bought. $12 at Walmart because I thought, I still want to. I'm just finding sponsors for it at the moment because I think this is a video that could work really well with sponsors. So it's essentially learning to cut like a proper chef. Knee supports. Are these knee supports? The instructions are in Russian, which is great. Should we put them on now? Have I only got one? There's no way in hell they sold this product as a single unit. Surely not. Let's go over here. I'm not. Those have to fit through there. What was this? Do I have, only have one? That's mental, I'm gonna have to check now. There's no way. I can't, I don't know if this was an AliExpress purchase or a Timu. Count shipped. No orders in this account. What are you talking about, Rob? To review. This is my account. I know it's my account. All right, I guess I'll check Timu. Um, okay, here. So the product is a knee booster. The item was discontinued. I have ordered just one piece. I paid $6 for this. This is the biggest POS. See? Trash. Okay. That's enough. Get off. That can go in the bin. All right. What other crap do we have here, Oliver? Oh yeah, some magnets and stuff to do some quantum levitation. Yep, I should get stuck into that video soon. Put you down here. I've got a video of like seeing if my dog has a flavor of water that it would like to drink. 
a drawing tool. I wanted to see if I could get good at drawing or just like try different tools. So that, that could be an option out there somewhere. I'm, trying, I'm just I'm just folding you petal. So much crap here. Uh, ankle weights. I did do a video of seeing if ankle weights made a difference to how high you swing, but the storyline isn't built out. I'm not sure where I'm going with it. So those can those can wait. I feel like doing a video of. Do you remember these? I'll just take it out of the pocket. I'm not going to put it in until I have washed it. But you're meant to chew them and they're meant to be good for your jaw. Or like this way? I don't know. But they're meant to be good for your jaw. So I, I don't think those will work. I've seen people say they work. I don't know. Acupuncture points, ear massage sticker. And that just seems stupid, doesn't it? Oh yeah, this is from, I don't know, I'll wait until I see it because it's in here somewhere. Mango moisturizing, moisturizing whitening hand wax. Yeah, this is meant to like whiten your skin. Don't know. Oh, a palm sleep massager is what this is. This is not a clitoral stimulator, as most might think. It's meant to like give you slight shocks or pulses to help you fall asleep. Let's put that down here. I should like I should start working on that video. I wanted to use, I wanted to do a video of different moisturizers and how they moisturize your skin. Like, so this is a moisturizer tester. So it checks how much moisture is in your skin. I should keep that, I should use that. Oh, there's the instructions for that, lovely. Meridian massage pen, I used that a while back and it was absolutely useless. A face exerciser. I don't know where, hopefully that's up here. Um, we should go out and try these, shouldn't we? These are, what's it called? You put like a rock in here, like a slingshot, like pocket slingshots they're called. I'm gonna put that down here so I will come back to them one day. Fanny pack, bum bag. You can go down to one. Ow! Pens are falling out. I don't know if you're looking at all of this and thinking, well, I know that <clears throat> A comment I get quite often is how do I come up with the ideas all the time for this content? And I think it's it, this goes for anything in life, that when you're involved in something, when your mind is in something, you're able to think that way. I think this is, this is meant to give you a better smile. I don't think well, that's the thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how that's meant to work. Let's figure that one out. An outdoor pool ring. That's just that's just going to be a random prop. That's not a video. 
and I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. These fly eyes specs. I don't know if I'm going to make a video with those, so we'll just try. Awful. Get it. Uh, let me see if my phone will work to look through these. Yeah, that's what, this is what I would see. Awful. Got the bloody mess. Um, see how this video goes. Oh yeah. So Rugi pulled these out the other day. These are like hand like, to web your fingers. And it's something really interesting came out of this. My wife and I were, so Rugi took them out, brought them upstairs. I put one on his hand and I put one on my hand. And me, I put it on properly, like one on each finger with my thumb in the right thumb hole. Because to me, logically, that is the way that you would put these on. But my wife, her thinking was, well, I'm not going to use it. Why do I need to put it on properly? And so she's just like, sticks a finger in there and then another finger in there like that. So that, that's how she's just tried it. And I remember looking at her and thinking, what the hell are you doing? But it's very interesting. I find it very interesting how different people think. Like to me, the only way to have put these on was to put them on properly as if you were gonna use them. Which honestly is silly logic when to her it was, I can put them on easier if however I grab it, I just stick my first finger in whatever hole that is. Right, like so, so on one hand you could say how stupid of her not to have put them on the right way. And on the other hand you could say What's well, actually smart because she knows she's not going to use them right now. And I guess I'm not going to use those for a while, am I? These are horrible to use, by the way. This is... A magnifying... It's like a doctor's magnifying uh, set. So you slip in the different frames into this headset that fits over your eyes. I think I had the idea to try like different sports with these on, like basketball. Can I shoot? What's it like to shoot at the different bits like with these on? Stupid. Was that from? Not sure yet. A kid's fishing set. Save that for Ruger. Oh, I think these are acupuncture feet things. Let's put that over there. Foot pads. Must have bought two pairs, I don't know why. But those will be for a video one day. I, I mean, part of my thinking was what if I used those for the next part of the sauna video because people were complaining about wearing socks. This, I believe, is a, you put it around your neck against your skin and it tells you if you're, should we try it right now? Oh gosh. Okay, so it's on. Okay. Okay, 
so good posture. It's quite good, isn't it? What about? That's not very good, is it? That's pretty bad posture. Yeah, it's telling me good. All right, okay, chill out. So here are the instructions for it. Adjust the appropriate correct angle. We could try that. <clears throat> I think I wanted to do a series on handwriting, improve my handwriting, and I think I bought this for what for that little whatever the, oh, you can't see it. For that thing up top, I don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Not in that purchase. Oh, I think, uh, here we go. Oh, this came with a book, a handwriting book. A toddler exercise book for the English alphabet. Oh yeah. And so these are all uh, imprinted so you can follow along. I should do that. I did want to do that. My handwriting is so bad. <clears throat> so let's put that here. This is the keep pile, apparently. Some wood glue. Why do I have wood glue? I don't know, but you look like you would sit there very nicely. This is meant to be one of those balls that you blow up to be a huge but upon opening the package, I sliced into it, I think. So I, I don't think, yeah. I feel like that would ruin the integrity of the whole thing. Like it's a pretty deep, can you see that? I think that would ruin it. So I, I don't think it's even worth it. The time I would spend blowing it up for it just to break. A three-way toothbrush. Interesting. I'm not sure how I would make that into a video. An, an eye patch. I've got an eye patch. Oh, that's why I was going to do a um, a day of. So I don't know if you know this, but pirates didn't <laughs> the classical pirate didn't wear a patch because they had one eye that was missing. They wore it so that they could go below below deck and pull that up, and they could adjust to the light much faster. Oh, to there being a lack of light. So that's what I wanted to try. Like, how good can your vision be at night if you wear an eye patch all day? <coughs> um, lung trainer, that will go with the... The, uh, I think it's upstairs. The mouth breathing thing, the... Yes, face thing. So that, those two can go down here. A back brace thing, that should go with the... So this is one of those, it fits around your shoulders and across your back, to like stop you from slouching. Wireless earphones that clip onto your ear. Um... 
I've never tried those. Let's try them right now. Looks like they have some charge. I saw, I saw a blue light flash. Okay. Instructions are in Chinese. English. To power on, take out the left and right earphones from charging location, turn on the phone. Okay. Let's go. Settings, Bluetooth. Which side goes on what? I think that goes on the sure yet but the the coating on the outside is already coming off I will say that airpods are a bit easier to get on and off Connected apparently. Connected. I can hear stuff, it's just not very good. So I think I think I did yeah, this is the left ear, this goes behind. So I did have it right, they're just not loud at all, so they're trash. I think they were like four dollars. Yeah, those can go in the bin. Those are absolutely terrible. I prefer listening to someone, my wife, sing than music through those. I've got to recycle. Oh, this is for the pen. It's a, you put your fingers in there like that. Very nice. Handwriting book, another handwriting book. So, keep you down there. Some more heightened insoles. Why do I have another pair of those? I don't know if I'm gonna do that video anytime soon. Ab trainer, that's what this is for. I think it's meant to shock you, but that would be a fun video. <laughs> it 
it's meant to shock you. That would be a fun video. <laughs> I've got dog crocs, which I bought for doodah, but they're way too small, so I'm never going to use those. From an old drone. Those are from a worm grunting video. I'm not going to eat those because, ugh. I don't think I ate them the first time. Oh, I did have a video to try these, like NyQuil caps, like how quickly do you fall asleep? I could try that. A paint your own unicorn and a paint by number set. I did this for a video on uh, using colorblind. Like I bought a headset that you could put your phone into and the phone would, I used an app that would make you colorblind or change things to being colorblind and then tried painting. Do you want to see the colours I used? Very, very impressive. I know. Like, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's no Picasso, but it's close. These are some creams I bought from. Thomas Roth never opened. A nail set. We did use this. I never posted the video, but everything in there is useless. I can throw that away. The sand filling kit. It looks like something's broken in there, which is good. Lots of sand free. So let's put that back there. Here's my, my thought is that when we get to a time that I'm not constantly thinking about how can I make enough money for the month, if we could spend like a day, you know, like once a week, go through one of these for fun. Maybe one day. Look at that, that's much tidier, isn't it? Fly eyes, I guess I guess we'll keep you. And all of this can go in the bin. Been meaning to do that for a while. For a minute, bruv. Alright, bit of a mess down here, okay. Bit of a mess. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell. Bit of a mess. So I'm going to put everything away and then we'll plan out a video. I think the next shaving video, or maybe we'll film that today. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Gentle Roonies. Um, shaving video did not happen, but I had an idea. I had a look around at, where shall I go? That way. Uh, saunas in the area and I was expecting them to be like number one I was expecting them to be difficult to find number two I was expecting them to be quite expensive and I was also expecting them to be at like gyms that you would pay a monthly amount for to then use it and like you couldn't use it unless you did that but <clears throat> it's a place called Restore Wellness it's a chain and it was three of their different sessions for fifty dollars so I just did an infrared sauna and then tomorrow I'll do cryotherapy, which is like where you freeze for five minutes or something. And then I thought it would be cool to do cryotherapy and then straight into the sauna. And those can be two separate videos. So that will be tomorrow. And I wrote the script pretty quickly. It kind of decently wrote itself based on experiences and people's comments from other videos. And it makes sense that a sauna video is next since like day five is meant to come next anyway. So got it done, did 55 minutes in an infrared sauna it was like a hundred it was 150 degrees fahrenheit 
which is about 65, 60, yeah, about 65 degrees centigrade, I think. Dude, that was tough. Like it got to about, I'd say it was one thing up to about 35 minutes. And after that, it was a struggle to stay in there. Like I was just super hot. I didn't want to drink. I know hydrated being or staying hydrated and being hydrated is a very important aspect. So I'll drink tons of water after this, but I wanted to test how much water I lose during that whole process. But one of the other reasons why I decided I would go and do it now, instead of waiting until tomorrow, the next slot was 10 a.m., was because I wanted to, I started messaging the company Restore, and I realized this would carry so much more weight if I did a video at their place and included their name so they could see exactly what I would create for them. And it only cost me $50 for three sessions. So worst case scenario, I make three videos out of $50, which is not bad at all. And the bargaining chip was that I told my wife I would go and pick up Joe's barbecue. If you if you've been if you've heard of Kansas City, you've probably also heard to try the barbecue. Now, we've tried lots of different barbecue from around here. I think Joe's is the best. I'll tell you when I when my dad and I first came over to Kansas to come and have a look at colleges or a college we went to we flew into wichita airport which is like central i'd say pretty much central kansas and the guy that we were on a on a bus to on the way to get a hire car we, you know he was american and we were talking back and forth and he was like you have to try joe's barbecue it's up in kansas city but you have to try it up there this was like 12 years ago now and at the time Neither, neither of us thought anything of it until maybe I was in college or just after college, someone told me about this barbecue place that's in a gas station. You go into the gas station to get the barbecue. It's like a little dining area off to the side. And now there's one like closer to us and it is our favorite place to go. It's so good. Oh. All right, I'm going to get in. Uh, I've got topics to discuss while we wait, so. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll cut the video when the guy comes to the window to give the food, because, well, either, yeah, I'll just cut it. I don't want him to, in the, him to be in the video if he doesn't want to be. Right, I'm going to maybe I'll pull up next to someone. Pull up to the side here. Okay. I need my phone, so one second. All right, we're getting straight into this conversation with, um, I mentioned, I think it was yesterday's video about, uh, is my comments about someone getting their card declined at a store. And I want to, be clear. I think the good thing about me editing these videos is that I get a chance to see this and I get to think about my thoughts and see exactly what I meant. So I want to be very clear that while I think that's a, like poor choices lead to that thing happening, I would never, ever make someone feel bad for being in a store and having their card declined. The number of times I wouldn't say my wife and I go to Dollar Tree often, but maybe once every two or three months um, to get candy or to get little toys and things for Rugi. And the number of times, I think there have been two or three times now that we've been in line and the person in front of us, their card has gotten declined and they don't have the cash. And 
The only thing going through my mind is if I offer to help them pay for it, how do I do this in a way that doesn't make them feel um, like it's charity, you know? So, I, what have I said? Do you mind if I... Do you mind if I get this for you? Have I said that? Something along those lines. I must have done a variation of things. And I, that's not, there's no, there's no decision in there as to should I or shouldn't I pay for them. It's just how do I not make them feel bad about the fact that they don't have enough money to pay for the few things that they need. Like, I, life is tough. I get that. I understand that. But I just wanted to clear that up. I felt like that, that was important to me. Next topic. Uh... That one's, uh, I was going to talk about being in or out of touch of reality and if that's okay or not. And let's, I'll save that one for tomorrow. That's a, that's a pretty deep one. Uh, of all people, XQC was the last person I was expecting to get two things in the last few days actually were really good from him. One of them was on living the golden years now he was talking about i think he was referencing some fortnite player who'd fallen off and xqc was saying like it, it doesn't matter about falling off like that shouldn't scare you it's you that shouldn't be something you're worried about you should only be concerned the only thing you should be thinking about is doing the thing that you enjoy doing and if you fall off, who cares? Keep doing the thing you enjoy doing. Now, you would say, yeah, but he's in a privileged position. He's got plenty of money behind him to keep doing that. And yes, but he, like everyone else who's worked themselves into a really good position, has put the work in day after day after day. When they didn't want to, they put the work in. And essentially the message was live, like forget that Forget the idea that you should be living for your golden years, like the golden years to come are to come. Now are the golden years, like right this second. And I really love that. I love that idea of you, we're all walk, working towards this thing, but what about right now? And you know the phrase, enjoy the journey, not the destination, or as well as the destination. The journey, to me, the, the destination to me is the, um, the ability to go further on your journey. <sighs> Dumbass. I just sound like such a pleb, don't I? But it's like, if you set your goal as, I need a million followers, what happens when you, if you get to a million followers, what happens then? Did you enjoy getting to a million followers? Or do you just get to a million followers? Because if you didn't enjoy it, that million followers, I'm not talking about the people behind them, I'm saying that million followers, that milestone, give a shit. Who ma like, doesn't matter to you, does it? Words of wisdom from the wise wanker. <laughs> oh yeah, this was something very interesting. Uh, and I'm, I'm, very, I'm actually very guilty of this, specifically so my wife and i i saw a tiktok like a month or so ago maybe i don't even know if it's that long of billy eilish it was it was a news article like billy eilish comes out as gay or bi or something like that and i was saying to my wife i was like why i don't understand why this stuff is such a big deal for people like nobody cares if you're gay sh straight bi whatever no one cares no one should care and it shouldn't matter however anyone else feels in the way you feel or what you do. And so like part of my thinking was, why would she like make a big deal out of it? And I was in the wrong because it turns out 
she didn't make a big deal of it. It was the media that made a big deal of it. All she did was post a photo with her and her girlfriend or something. And it was the media that picked it up and made it into this big thing. And actually, I, I saw an interview as hers, and it was like, uh, I don't want to talk about this stuff. Like, I just want to talk about things that matter, like, let's say, her music career or something. Like, fair, like, that's good. I like that. I think that's very good. I think get rid of the in unimportant stuff in your life. And oh, hey. What was the name? Uh, right, Shay Wright. Here you go. Lovely. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks. Thanks. You too. Okay. All right. Last one for us to talk about on the way home. Let me text the missus. On me way. Okay, yes. Uh, it was Simon Sinek, a psychologist, sociologist, I don't know, one of those ones. Really cool guy. Well, I don't know if he's a cool guy or not. Uh, I like some of his stuff. But I watched a video of his earlier where... Oh, are you pleb? Don't worry, mate. You're chilling. <laughs> Some people, I swear. Uh, the video was... He was doing a speech, so he was on stage with one other guy. And he asked someone to pass him his phone. First of all, didn't say thank you to the person who passed him his phone. I find that stuff super weird. Like, I understand that you're up on stage speaking to people, but someone just passed you the phone that you've asked for and you haven't said thank you to them? Weird. I'll, I'll apologize if I just missed it, but it didn't look like it. Anyway, he tries to make the point that he's got his phone in his hand and he's talking to the audience and he's saying, even though I'm not looking at my phone, it's not a focal point uh, and it's no focus on what I'm actually doing or saying. It's not dinging, it's not vibrating, the, the light's not on, nothing. It doesn't feel like I'm paying 100% attention to you. And then he went on to say, it's, very, it's much the same if you go to a restaurant and you have your phone on the table. Even face down, it's the same thing. And for the most part, I don't know how you feel about this. For the most part, I agree. But then I think my wife and I, when we go to restaurants, we take our phones out of our pockets and we put them on the table, like off to the side of the table. Like my wallet is on top of mine, her purse is on top of hers. And neither of us are focused on our phones. We don't, we don't touch our phones during that dinner. But I, I was trying to figure out why did I start putting my phone on the table <clears throat> and wallet on the table versus just keeping it in my pocket like I always used to? I think one part is phones are so bloody big that it's uncomfortable. And two, I'm so used to having my phone out in places in case, like if I'm not with Shay and Shay needs me for something to do with Ruger, I need to be there and available. And that means that I'll only ever look at my phone if it's a call. Like if it's a text, I'm not going to look at my phone. If I'm like engaged in talking with someone or doing something with other people, I'm just not, I'm not even looking at my phone because I'm so much better. So good. I'm such a good person, Oliver. But yeah, I mean, I don't, how do you feel about your phone being out? while you're around other people or other people having their phones out just on the table. I think having your phone out and being on your phone while you're in the, um, like let's say you're all chilling in a room, having a conversation on like sofas or something and one of you is on your phone. I think that shit's so rude. I think that that's basically putting a sign on your forehead saying, I'm bored of this conversation. I'm bored of you. I don't want to be here, which is fine. Maybe it's fine if 
you know, why does, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think we'll call it there for today. Uh, I think tomorrow we'll focus on the edit for this video. I, I wanna like, Paul, I know if you're watching Paul, Paul Sharp was very interested in seeing a breakdown of the edit. So let's go deep into the edit tomorrow. Nice, and I'm gonna eat some chips, some fries. See you later.